Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and last September, I got a chance to get a hands-on look at a brand new, phenomenally detailed LEGO set releasing very soon. This is the LEGO Architecture Notre Dame Cathedral, which is one of the only times that LEGO has actually depicted a church in LEGO set form. It is remarkably detailed, and today we actually have the official designer of the LEGO set hands-on to be able to introduce the set to all of you, and it's actually the same designer who put together the incredible LEGO Eiffel Tower. So obviously you can tell the amount of detail that you're about to get in a set like this is going to be phenomenal. And without further ado, let's transport ourselves back to September of last year, where we got a private exclusive preview of this brand new LEGO architecture set. The last time I was in front of you was presenting the Eiffel Tower. I was, at that point in time, I thought that was like the pinnacle of my work with LEGO. What could I present to you guys? that would be able to come close to that, right? That was at least how I felt at that time. With the model that's here, I mean, I'm being totally honest, it's my, my best work so far. I'm really, really glad at how it turned out. The nicest model so far, so hope I build a bit of a suspension up. <laughs> <laughs> but now, without further ado, So I believe this building needs no introduction. Synonymous with Paris. And at the same time, you could quite easily display it with the Eiffel Tower as well, because it's quite, it's quite close in scale. If you want to know some of the stats, it actually has 4,383 elements, if I remember correctly. So it's one of the most detailed models uh, that we've ever did in such scale. Why did I bring two of them along? Well, because this one is not only about the finished display model, it's about the building experience itself. Uh, I've tried to capture how the original Notre Dame was being built. You know, how they laid the first stone, how they start building the back, building the building, building the building the choir so that they could cut it off in time so that this could be put in service while the rest of the cathedral is being built. So it's not a layered Lego model. You don't build it like a cake, but you're actually, you're actually following the building of the original cathedral. And that's pointed out in the building instructions. Like every back represents a period in time. So you start all the way back in 1163 and then continue into the present. You know, this building is, is its history, it's amazing. And I'm hoping while building it, you won't rush through it, but you'll actually take the time to do some research that will kindly already point you in the right direction with the BI, but there's so much more to be known about this great work of art so that you can actually see and experience how it is. And as you can see, and this is just a random stop on the way, it never feels like an unfinished Lego model. I'd like to think that you're on a construction site, but that you're already, you know, you're having things in place. So there are no so-called filler Lego elements. Everything corresponds to the original structure, as far as it can, of course, in such a scale. I'll be glad to go into detail with some of you later on, but let me just point out some of the highlights. Well, for example, the roof, the sides of the, of, of the main apps are supported by the flying buttresses, right? And I'll take one, the lower part, the polar ones, to support the upper story. And just on, like on the real one, they're also being put to use to drain the water that goes through the buttress itself and comes out of the gargoyle on the end. So it spills out over to the pavement so it doesn't, so it doesn't erode at the foundations of the building. We have three rose windows, which were being abstracted, so they are all the same design. And the magnificent part 
in my opinion, is when you have the end product, hopefully you'll have to do that, is actually to peek through the open doors. Oh. So you get a bit of the experience of the awe that such a structure is meant to convey. <coughs> roof is removable so that you can look inside and the supports are actually following the vaults that are in the building itself. So there is an approximation of the number of the columns but everything on the outside corresponds to the real structure. So there is, this is the actual number of buttresses, this is the actual number of gargoyles, of the details, of the spires and on the inside there is also vaulting where it's supposed to be. And from the abstraction of the wooden construction of the roof to the abstraction of the stone construction of the vaults, everything's there. So I hope you'll get to build this one, I truly do. Our look at set number 21061, the Notre Dame Cathedral. This will come out on June 1st and retail for around $230 to our knowledge, with again 4,383 pieces, which is a remarkable deal, although again many of those pieces are really small. This is again an absolutely beautiful set to come out of LEGO architecture and the designer was not kidding when he said that this is something that does top the Eiffel Tower. While it may not top it in terms of scale, I think in terms of detail this one actually has it beat. It is really cool being able to go in and see all sorts of absolutely beautiful detail from the recolored tan magic wands making up the actual supports of the building itself to even a tan version of a older style of wheel piece to actually create the archway as you enter into the cathedral itself. It is absolutely a stunning display model and one that will look right at home in any LEGO Architecture fans collection. Now personally I wasn't able to actually have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the designer which is unfortunate but again I was having to prioritize focus on a couple of different other themes when it came to actually putting in my top picks but what's really cool is that this does actually have a full-on interior as mentioned and I'm personally really excited to actually get a chance to put it together and see what the interior looks like myself because I love it when architecture just goes crazy on the detailing and we haven't had something quite like this for a while in architecture architecture, I guess ever since the Himeji Castle, which didn't even quite have an interior to speak of. And so, this is really a phenomenal build, and I think it's quite interesting because obviously the real-life building is currently under construction after it was almost destroyed by a fire. This is actually five years later. So this is actually kind of perfect timing given that it's planned to reopen on December 8th of this year. If this comes out this summer, it will be right in time for the cathedral to reopen. Now, I personally have a lot of fond memories of visiting Paris as a kid and actually seeing this before it was destroyed by the fire, and last time I was in Paris, I saw it being rebuilt, so this is absolutely a set that really, really excites me personally, and I can't wait to get my hands on it on June 1st. Now one other interesting thing I do want to note about this particular set is that typically LEGO doesn't release religion focused sets. Obviously it's been years since they've done a church, ever since LEGO's early days they kind of have a stance against making sets focused on religion, however given that this is an important architectural landmark I feel like that's why LEGO made the exception here and now I'm kind of wondering does that open the door for more religious monuments to be made out of LEGO bricks? Who knows? and I guess we'll have to see, but all in all, religion aside, this is an absolutely beautiful set, and I can't wait to add it to my fully complete LEGO Architecture collection. Alright, and with that, we have summed up our look at the brand new LEGO Architecture Notre Dame Cathedral. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this set? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you excited to get it when it comes out? And I hope you enjoyed our early look at a brand new LEGO set. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon, and bye for now.